Okay, good morning students. Today is Friday, April 17th. We're about to make it through another week. Uh, first off, seniors, you should have received a one call yesterday. If you've not received the one call, it's got a, um, you need to let myself, Mr. Hartzell know what your current email, cell phone number is or phone number is so that way we can update it because we're going to start banking on a lot of one call information out to you. Uh, typically this time of year, we're worrying about hours and fees. Don't worry about it right now. Uh, if you want to pay the fee, fine. Go to the payfort.net link. Don't worry about the hours. Um, but you would have been told about 1 p.m. There's a Google Classroom meeting with Mr. Hartzell, Ms. Wozlowski, and the guidance counselors. Um, kind of talking 1 o'clock. They hold it every day. Uh, 1 p.m. You guys can talk. You can, you know, share your feelings, whatever. Mr. Hartzell's there for you. Um, once again, make sure we have current uh, phone numbers if, we, if you need to. We're also going to start making phone calls about caps and gowns. Caps and gowns are not completely in. That's why we haven't handed them out. We're waiting for our second shipment. When they do get in, we have a plan in place to get them out to you. Don't worry about it. We're still waiting. We're not going to do anything until we get that second set of caps and gowns in. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're also going to start putting out other information. You know, as we get closer, we are going to. This is about the time where it starts picking up. There's not, not been a lot of information, you know, just understand when we get the information, we'll put it out just like every year. I'm not communicating any less than I normally have. Um, next, seniors, you need to go to your Google Classroom. There's a form there that the counselors need you to fill out. It is the final transcript request, request and exit information. I need you to fill it out, get it into the guidance counselor. It's not a big deal. Also, um, you know, there's something else that we're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Barbara, and I need you students to, if you've seen on social media, the, the, the three E thing that we're doing with uh, social media blitz that we're doing for seniors, uh, Mr. Vernon Catola, and actually a, good, a huge shout out to uh, Jace Dipple. He's done a phenomenal job at these and he's been working with Mr. Uh, Vernon Catola. Um, you know, posting, hey, this is this kid, this is where he's going, this is his major, outstanding. Huge shout out. If you guys know Jace, give him a huge shout out, Pat, you know, virtual pat on the back. There you go. Um, but if you want that information posted out there like everyone, it's the, you got to send an email to class of 2020 at gmail.com. Send the information. Next, senior scholarship information. About this time of year, we normally do a scholarship presentation. Well, obviously, we can't do that. So the Barbara Community Foundation wants to kind of, is going to do something uh, that they would like to do. And they've been reaching people saying, hey, but what I was talking to the lady yesterday and what she would like to do, it doesn't matter what scholarship you got, except there's an exception here. She wants to, like, we know all the, the ones that are typically given out to the Barber, the Barber Community Foundation ones, the Rotary, the Kiwanis, all those different organizations, the different family ones uh, that typically come to Barber and students. What she would like to do is, like, if you've received money um, from a scholarship that, that normally doesn't come here, let's say some large corporation is, you know, hey, it's this such and such engineering or this such and such future farmers or this such and such big corporation scholarship that's a national wide scholarship um, we want to know about it we want to celebrate that so send that information to me we'll get it now we're not talking like University of Akron Kent State Ashland Cleveland State all those have like small little scholarships that they usually get. like it's like the Akron U such and such scholarship or the Kent State we we're not. She said we. Were, she's not interested. She, you know, those are just, you know, because those are multiple people can get those. It's so it's understand. You know, we're looking at the big national competition ones, not university or college scholarships. Um, I'm not saying that that's not important, but that's not what we're what they're really looking for. Um, next, food drop Monday. It's going to happen again Tuesday a lot Tuesday. Monday, I'm sorry, Monday from 10 to 11 a.m. On Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, we are going to still do the, the packets. So if you have packets or you need a packet or a book, 
Uh, a lot of, I've been getting a lot of people asking for the help or some other books. Um, shoot me an email. We've got it, and I've got it set up right now for Monday and Tuesday of next week. Food drop is just Monday. Google packets or uh, Chromebooks and packets are are available Monday and Tuesday, nine to noon. <coughs> oh, next. <clears throat> Sorry about this. Um, serious side. Students, and I get it. Um, you, you've, you've seen all the different, we're alone together, we're all this other stuff. There are a lot of resources that are available on our website. If you go under uh, the, the student and packet information or the parent, parent information, you scroll down, there's the 211 Summit County. If you're feeling a little depressed, you're feeling a little lonely, you're, 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 you're doing those type of things, you're feeling that way, please look at some of these resources. Reach out to your guidance counselor. Um, you know, there's, you know, there's uh, counseling services. We can get you, try kind of get you hooked up with Greenleaf or, or, or Red Oak or Child Guidance. Or we can, re you know, you reach out to your guidance counselors here. Whatever it may be, we can, we, we'll do what we can to help you. Um, you're you're not in this alone. We're all in this. You know, it's, it's all the different hashtags and all those different things we're saying. We're all in this together. And as I said, I think it was Tuesday. I think we're realizing that although the technology is great, you know, these things are great, right? We realize how important that actual communication, that person-to-person -person communication, really is. So understand that. Uh, and I know Tuesday I kind of went off on a, on a huge tangent about getting your work done and all that other stuff. Most importantly right now is that work can be done. And, and, and I'm not saying you, you're not going to graduate. But what's more important, your health or graduation? Your health and well-being in future or getting uh, whatever done in a class? And, and I want you to take the time for yourself. Make sure you get out, and you got to get outside. And I know it's cold right now, and I, and I understand the social distancing. But a little bit of exercise, a little bit of walking around, a little bit of that vitamin C, vitamin D from the sun, that is very, very important. You've got to get out. You've got to take care of yourself. Um, make those funny videos that, and post them, and you know, make sure they're appropriate. Um, my kids absolutely love um, the Gordon family's videos that they post and all this other stuff. So they watch, they laugh, they have a good time with it. Um, but understand, um, you know, let's make sure that we do things right. We take care of each other. Um, you know, s send someone a text. Hey, thinking about you, keep your spirits up. Do what you can. Shoot someone an email. Hey, thinking about you. You're you're, you're wonderful. You're great. Hey, outstanding. Uh, you know, keep that type of stuff up. Next, uh, and this will be last. Um, kind of spinning it back up to the positive. Seniors or senior parents, actually. Um, remember that um, you know I've had a couple parents say they've reached out and they've done the the door decorating and a couple other things and you know. Um, Decorating and sidewalk chalk on the sidewalk for their for their child, doing crazy stuff like that. That's outstanding. I've seen that as I've driven driven around. I've seen people, you know, in sidewalk chalk. And now, granted, it rains, or in our case, we live in Ohio, snows. Uh, and just so you know, I did ask Mr. Ramnitz for a snow day today, and you know what he said? He said he he wishes he could, but he couldn't do that. Um, but hey, you know, let's keep it. Let's keep it real and let's let's look out for each other, okay? With that, you guys have a great weekend. See you next week.